I'm going to do a, a little video tour of my um, <clears throat> do-it-yourself heated battery. Um, you can go to my website rvbprecision.com and see all the actual particulars, but this will give you a good idea of what we're trying to do. Um, this is my uh, pickup truck and I have a roof nest falcon rooftop tent and uh, when I'm using the truck I still need to have connectivity with cell phones and charging cameras and other things so I needed to install a solar system an inverter DC to DC battery charger to charge the battery off the truck when it's running and I also have a hookup so that I can charge the batteries in my travel trailer from the truck while we're traveling. Up on the roof, hard to see, there's a 120 watt solar panel. That comes down to the Renogy Wanderer charge controller and a shunt based AILI battery monitor. I've also got a small fuse box. That's my solar in because I can also have a set of folding panels uh, if I'm parked in the shade or someplace where the panel on top of the roof isn't getting enough sun. I have a uh, 120 watt folding panel that I can plug right in there. Uh, and then I've got 45 amp Anderson connectors for various things. 12 volt cigarette lighter socket and USB connectors for charging cell phones and whatnot. Got a heavy duty 12 volt output. Uh, that's for uh, anytime I need uh, more current than I can get off these small plugs that I have here. For instance, I have a winch that I operate off the battery. Uh, that's the Renogy Bluetooth dongle so that I can monitor all this stuff on my phone. And here's the Renogy uh, 40 amp DC to DC battery charger that takes the uh, current off of the alternator and uh, runs it all the way back here through a big heavy gauge wire. And then from there it goes right into the battery, which I'll show you in a minute. Or it can go directly into my travel trailer and charge the lithium batteries in the travel trailer. This is the latest addition. This is now a way of heating the battery because you can't charge a lithium battery if it's below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. So I decided to heat the battery or put a battery heater in the battery. We'll take a look at that over here. The battery needed to remain portable because I do take it into a tent uh, if I'm camping away from the truck. And it's wonderful to go from an AGM battery that weighed almost 70 pounds into a lithium battery that weighs 23 pounds. It's beautiful for carrying. But just so you can see what's going on on top of the battery, uh, over here are USB connectors for charging up uh, you know, a cell phone or whatever. A couple of fuses. The main circuit breaker, uh, which if something should go wrong or if the winch is pulling too much current or whatever, uh, that circuit breaker will go before we have a fire. And then I've got the main battery input, battery output, big heavy duty Anderson connector. And then what I have here is the heat pad, which is in the, wrapped around the battery. And it's a heater pad that you would normally adhere to the bottom of a water tank to keep the water from freezing in an RV. Uh, I just wrapped it around the battery. And from that temperature controller that you saw inside the trailer, uh, the truck, I'm sorry, uh, that wire comes down here and we have a temperature probe. So the way I have it set is if the temperature of the battery itself reaches 35 degrees, the heater kicks on. Once it comes up to 40 degrees, the heater kicks off. And it'll just keep doing that ad infinitum until the temperature actually comes up uh, generally in the area. 
Now, I camp in the high desert a lot of times down in New Mexico, Arizona. And in the high desert, even during the, you know, January, February, March, it can get down into the 20s at night. And sometimes it'll stay there for a little while, and then during the day it'll get up into the 50s, 60s, sometimes the 70s. I just don't want to chance this lithium battery getting damaged by accidentally being charged when the sun comes up and it's still cold. So this way that battery will never get below uh, 35 degrees, and that's great. And just for chits and giggles, uh, the rest of the system in here, I have a stereo system that I installed with a couple of really nice loudspeakers. Really sounds pretty good when I'm at a campsite and I cook off this tailgate. I have a uh, cook stove that I put on the tailgate. This is a um, the docking station for the Sirius XM unit that I have in the truck. I can just pull it out of the truck and bring it back here. And then again I have more USB connectors for charging phones and whatnot. I always need those. And uh, just a little stereo system. So that's basically the tour. Again, if you go to www.rvbprecision.com, you'll see a much better write-up of what's going on and how it's all wired and everything. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this simple video. Thanks for watching.